A young girl stands in the wreckage of her home. In some places, little remains of the camps outside Sitwe that housed more than 130,000 ethnic Rohingya. Cyclone Mokka has left a trail of death and destruction in Myanmar. 17 people died. 92 houses in our village were destroyed. We are short of food. Someone donated 15 kilograms of rice to our village. Some bodies have been found, but most have not. The current problem is food. No donations have arrived yet, so we are sharing our provisions with others. Since the cyclone, the village has had no food. No one, including myself, has received any food yet. For those who survived, the real struggle is only just beginning. It's hard to know where to start, but slowly they're picking up the pieces of their lives. Shelters being rebuilt from the ruins of those that were destroyed. What people are really asking for is shelter, clean water, food and health and other services. It's about 800,000 people um, that we've estimated, but in gen, I think in, in total, what Ocha has been estimating is about uh, two, around that uh, 3.2 million that have been hit. That's a huge number of mouths to feed, and so far the World Food Programme has only reached 36,000. Some relief is getting through to the Rohingya camps, but many people are worried it won't be enough. Travel to Rakhine State is restricted by the military, which has been slow to issue the necessary permits to aid organizations. The seas have calmed, but it will be a long time before the fishermen can take their boats out again. And farmers are unlikely to get a harvest from rice paddies flooded with seawater. The impact of Cyclone Mokka on the Rohingya community will be felt for years. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera. Let's get more on the plight of the